you can go back and watch today's service on our Facebook and YouTube social media page at Gilfield MBC. Also, remember to like and subscribe to our pages. There will be no Thanksgiving service Thursday. There will be no Thanksgiving service Thursday. From the music department, you are cordially invited to attend our annual choir concert for 2023. This year, we are doing things a little different. For the entire month of December, we are going to do a mini concert immediately following morning service, begin following morning service beginning uh, December the 3rd, with the climax being doing morning service on December the 24th. Please plan to attend, and we promise you will not be disappointed. We will be featuring our mass choir and our children's choir, so please stay and support. Thank you in advance, the music department. Please remember and pray for our sick and shut-in, Brother Thomas Ray Warner, Brother Felipe Kraft, Brother Albert Moore, Brother Randy Garner, Brother Elijah William, Brother Irvin Harvey Sr., Brother Maurice Curbin, Brother Leroy Penn, Dr. David L. Smith, M.D., Sister Georgia Goodman, Sister Ann Brewer, Sister Betty Fields, Sister Eula Pugh, Sister Diane Macklin, Sister Sadie Brewer, Sister Sandy Garner, Sister Maddie McClain, Sister Dorothy Brown, Sister Harry Ricks, Sister Shirley Tuggle, Sister Mary Pete and family, Sister Gwendolyn Hackett, Sister Rochelle Gufferin, Sister Carolyn Levy, and Sister Susan Smith. Please pray for our soldiers, school system, youth, students, teachers, principals, our doctors, nurses, hospital workers, essential workers, postal workers, and first responders everywhere. Thank you. And now in the hands of Brother Johnson. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. For this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I'll be glad in this day to anybody come to celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know about you, but I'm blessed. Just give God a praise just for being blessed. He is the great I am. He deserves the honor. He deserves the glory. And just for him allowing us to make it to this place, we ought to tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me, Father. Thank Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank, thank you. I thank you, Lord. Oh, I just want to thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because you've been so good. You've been. You've been so. You've been so. You've been so good, yes you have, Lord, you've been, you've been so, so, so good, yes, you've been, you've been so, you've been so, you've been so good, yes you have, and I, so I want to thank you, want to thank you. I want to thank you, Lord. You've been so, been so good. You've been so, so, so good. 
so good, that's what you've been. You've been, you've been so, so good. God, you've been so good. You've been so, mm, you've been good. Yeah. I just want to thank you. I want to thank you, Lord. Now just take a minute and just think about it. All of his goodness. Days up and days down. And I'm still here. Danger in the street. And I'm still here. Danger in the grocery store. And I'm still here. Danger driving in the street. And I'm still here. Can you thank him? Can you thank him? I don't know your situation. I don't know your circumstance. But I know that the King of Kings has been good. In the midst of and in spite of, you got a right. Every single one of us right here, we got a right to celebrate. Like I said, I don't know your situation, but I know that you got a right. Look at your neighbor once again and say, neighbor, I don't know your situation. I don't know your circumstance, but I know you got a right. Can we just celebrate? Can we celebrate it? He's a way maker. He's a troubleshooter. The mighty great God. Nobody can compare to him. Nobody can compare to him. And I just wanna, I wanna thank you, thank you, Lord. You made a way, yes you have. You made, made a, you made a way, yes you did, Lord. You made, made, made a, made a way, Lord. You made. You made, you made, you made a way, yes you did, Lord, and I just wanna, I wanna thank you, I wanna thank you, Lord, oh, you made a way, 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 yes you did, yes you did, you made you made, you made, yeah, you made a way. Oh, you made. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for making a way. Oh, I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just. I want to thank you, Lord. I just want to, I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you, and I just want to thank you, Lord. Come on, let's praise him. Come on, let's praise the King of Kings. Come on, let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate the great God, the one who makes ways, the doctor in the sick room, the great I am. We deserve the praise. Let everything that has breath praise the name of our God from the rising of the sun to the going down of the saint. But these shall hold their peace to rock for God. I don't need any rock crying out in my stead because he's been good to me. 
take this privilege, take this opportunity to celebrate the great I am. those twins of mercies that he gives us every day to go out and have another opportunity to serve him. We're blessed today, Gilfield. Yeah. And I thank God. I'm so grateful for you all. Grateful for him bringing us through this pandemic on up until this present time. And uh, I never cease to thank him because he's worthy every second of our lives. If you would stand with us today and we're going to see how great is our God. He has founded it upon the sea and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your hands, O you gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, 
he will lift them up, the everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. May God have a blessing to the readers, the viewers, and the listeners of this holy word. Good morning. May we pray? Lord, we come to you today, Father, saying, thank you, Lord. Father, you said in your word in Psalms 100, verse 4, enter with the password, thank you, according to the message version. Father God, we thank you for being a healer. We thank you for being a way maker. We thank you for being our way out, our way through. We thank you for being a preventer. We thank you for not giving us what we deserve, Father. Father God, we just thank you that you're all knowing, you're all seeing. Father God, we just thank you for what you're doing and what you're about to do. Father God, we thank you for being the banner that goes before us that weighs victory, Jehovah Nisi. Father God, we thank you that we can worship you from a place of victory because we already won the battle. Father God, we just thank you, Father God, for protecting these babies, Father. Father God, I ask you that you cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God. Father God, according to your word in 2 Thessalonians 3 and 3, you said that you are faithful. You will keep us from the evil one. Father God, we thank you, Jesus, that your word stands forever. Father God, we thank you, Lord for just keeping us, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for keeping our mind, keeping our thoughts, Father. Father God, we ask that you forgive us for our sins, knowingly and unknowingly, Father God. We repent right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask for your mercy, Lord. Father God, I ask for mercy on the body of Christ, Father God. Mercy on our health, mercy on us, Father God. Father God, in Jesus' matchless name that I pray, amen. 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 Thank you for the mind that want to yield. Bless, O oh Lord God, that you are forgiven. Bless, we pray in Jesus' name. As our pastor, the family, the church family, stand by us and don't leave us. 
know the secret is you, O oh Lord, that all of us are standing in the need of. And Lord God, you, you are God. All of us in here, we need you. Lord God, we can't get along without you. In your name we pray. I feel your presence. Mm. I feel you moving on the altar of my heart. In your name, I do pray. Love you, Lord. Need you, Lord. Can't get along without you. Your healing power brought me out of the hospital. And I just want to tell you, thank you, Lord. Yo, 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 delivering power. Allow me to be able to see another new day, though. Oh, Lord God. You are God, and beside you there is none other. In your name we pray. Thank God. And amen.
wake me up, y'all. Start me on my way. Lord, let me see. Let me see a brand new day. He leads me. He leads me. He guides me up and down the dangerous road. Already, y'all. Already, y'all. Ten thousand miles, y'all. On one vehicle. and sisters in Christ. Truly, I can say like Brother Brewer, I'm blessed. And I'm not ashamed to let the world know that God did it. Amen. Greetings to all around you. Amen. God did it on everything good. That happened to me. God did it. Thank God for the membership. Thank God for the preachers and for the warrior. And thank God for our visitors. Amen. Members that haven't seen in a while. And so, amen. I'm just glad to see all of you. I'm thankful. I can get my Thanksgiving done today since, since we will not be here on Thanksgiving Day. Amen. I, I, I assume that you didn't want to have it. Didn't nobody ask me to have it, so I guess that gave me a pretty good clue. Amen. Amen. Didn't nobody beg me, please, Pastor. 
It would be nice for us to have, but I sure would enjoy being on that. I ain't got nothing to do but go to church. I sure ain't nobody did that. that way. So I'll be with my family. Just like you will, I suppose. Amen. If God's willing. Amen. Thirst is not promised to any of us. So if you got some Thanksgiving to do, I suggest that you do it today. Amen. I suggest that you do it today. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. We're going to go to God's word. It is found in the book of Psalms. Psalm 100. And we're going to read that Psalms in its entirety. It's only five stanzas. Stanzas one through five of 100 number of Psalms. I think it is befitting on this time of the year, in this time of the year, on this particular day. It says, beginning in the first stanza, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. It is so. It is so. Everybody in the building could say amen to that. It is so. God is good, and his mercy is everlasting. It endures throughout all generations. Or from everlasting to everlasting. God is good. Amen. We're going to use for a thought. Remember to tell Jesus thank you. Thank you, Ursula. Remember to tell Jesus thank you. Most of us, we rear our children to say thank you. Whenever someone gives them something or do something nice for them, to tell them, thank you. Even we train the girls to say thank you if somebody holds the door. Isn't that right? Just be grateful now. If we can be thankful to one another for the little things that we do, the little small tokens of appreciation that we do, and we can say thank you for that, surely we ought to be able to say thank you to Jesus. And as much as he has done, it seems like we should not forget to let him know that we are grateful. Morning, noon, and night, he's continually blessing us over and over again. One songwriter say, every time I turn around, he just keeps on blessing me. Isn't that right? The psalmist said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, not to one another necessarily, but to the Lord. Make a joyful noise, not just, not just racket. But make a joyful noise, a, a, a noise of praise and worship, a, a, a noise of thanksgiving. And, and I, amen. We should be glad to be here. Uh, we, no one should have had to twist your arm to get you to come to church on today. Isn't that right? Amen. We, we should have been be there before the gate was open. Isn't that right? Amen. We need to come into his presence with singing, even those of us that don't sing too well. Isn't that right? We could just sing anyhow. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. Know ye that the Lord God, it is he that has made us and not we. So then we ought to be thankful just for that. It does not matter if you didn't get a turkey. 
Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. I've been kept and never killed a turkey. I'm not a turkey person. I guess you can tell by that. I, I like the dressing all right, but I, you can keep the turkey. Hey, 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 hey. You hear you know what I'm saying? Amen. Hey, Amen. I ain't got nothing against the turkey. I just don't care that much for it. Yeah. Amen. Hey, okay. I ain't going to tell you why, but I'll tell you why. But anyway, God is worthy of all our praise. Isn't it right? Everyone that have breath in their bodies all yes. to praise the Lord. Amen. When we say praise, we're talking about lip service. Right. Praising with our lips, whether it's talking or whether it's singing. Praising is telling God, thank you for what he has done. You are acknowledging what he has done, so you tell him, you praise him. If you praise someone, you tell him how great they are. Worship is giving. Are you listening? There is a difference in praising and worshiping. Uh -huh. we, we can talk a good game better than we can give. Is that right? Uh -huh. We can tell the Lord how much we love him and praise him and thank him for what he has done. But when we come to worshiping, you've got to give yeah, Lord. in order to give. Is that right? Uh -huh. uh, are we on the same page now? Yeah, yeah, praising the Lord is not just a good idea, but it is a commandment. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, it is a sin not to praise him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just a good idea, but it's mandatory. If you are a child of God, if you are in your right mind, you ought to have enough sense to know that you need to give God praise and honor and glory. Worship him. Amen. They said, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Isn't that right? And give him the glory and give him the praise. Isn't, isn't that right? And, and as you have, then you give. You can't give what you don't have. Uh -huh. and, but you should be willing to give him what you have because whatever you have, he gave it to you. Amen. Isn't that right? Uh -huh. He is good. He's better to us than we've been to ourselves. Amen. Isn't that right? We, we do a lot of damage to ourselves and, 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 and think that it's good. It's fun. Amen. Everybody else is doing this, so I'll destroy my body too. Isn't that right? But I want you to know God is not like that. God loves you in spite of yourself. Isn't that right? Yeah, we love each other if the other person is doing what we want them to do. But God loves us in spite of ourselves. He loves the sinner just like he loves those that are, are, are saints. He does not necessarily appreciate what we do, but he, he loves us just the same. Yeah, just like the child of yours. You love that child in spite of. Even though they did not do what you told them to do. They did not live the lifestyle that you trained them to live. But yet and still you love that child. Yeah. Is, is, is that right? So it is with God. God loves us in spite of ourselves. Isn't that right? Yeah. So then, yeah, yeah it's mandatory. And this praise, and you know, if you read your Old Testament, you will find that they were trained in the, you know, the Hebrews. They were trained to, to, to praise God uh, at least twice a day in the morning and in the evening. Uh -huh. Twice every day, not just once a week, but every day. Amen. If you read about Daniel, he did it three times a day. Isn't that right? He went into his room and opened up the window and looked towards Jerusalem and prayed three times a day. It got him in trouble, didn't it? Yeah, it got him in the lines then, but it also got him out. Yeah, yeah, amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the lion wasn't scared of Daniel, but he wasn't afraid of the lion either. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, so we ought to give thanks to God every day, not not just on uh, Sunday, not just on a Saturday. Some people say you need to worship on a Saturday, you know, but you can worship on Saturday and Sunday, not just on Christmas, and I, and I, right? not just Thanksgiving. Not just Easter, not just on New Year's Eve, isn't it right? But every day is a day of Thanksgiving. You know why? Because every day is holy unto the Lord. Isn't that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We should always be in remembrance of what God is doing and what he has done for us. Even if you didn't get the car that you wanted or the house that you wanted or the clothes that you wanted or the food that you wanted, God is still good. Isn't that right? You can thank him for the life that you had. He didn't have to let you live, but he did. 
Isn't that right? And thank him for the reasonable portion of help that you have. Yeah, you may not be able to run at the Catalan, you understand, but you made it here. Yeah, you made it, isn't that right? You were able to put one feet before the other. We didn't run here, but we got here. Yeah, it's thinking for the prosperity. We're not what you would call rich, you understand, but you do have two quarters you can rub together. Uh, isn't that right? You, you got a couple of coins you can wrap them. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can be you can be thankful for that, isn't that right? You may not have had the food that you wanted to eat, but you ate. Isn't that right? It, it, it's just only a few of us in here that's not overweight, you understand? But but most of us, we, we, we seem to be eating pretty good. Uh, isn't that right? We thank you. We can thank him for our family. Yeah, our family is not always in line with our thinking, but we thank him for our family. Isn't that right? God is good. To a family is a blessing. Yeah, man, it would be good to spend some time with him on Thursday. Yeah, and other days too. Yeah, isn't that right? Yeah, and the list just goes on and on where, where you can thank God. You understand? We we look around at what we don't have and we feel like we don't have any reason to thank God. Well, he didn't give me that. He didn't give me that. You know what I mean? He, he didn't give me no airplane, but he had sense enough to know not to give me one. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? Somebody would have been in trouble if I'm flying through there this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. God is smarter than we are. You don't need everything see other people with you know what I mean? and you can't handle everything other people is handling amen god is wiser than we are let no man judge you in regard to special days anybody went to sunday school with his mom don't let nobody judge you because of the days that you wish upon Judge you because you do wish upon a holiday or you don't wish upon a holiday. Isn't that right? Don't let them judge you because of that. You understand? Because it's irrelevant and immaterial. I think that's what Mr. Perry Mason would say. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's not relevant. You understand? The holidays were made by man. You understand? And it usually was made in order to make a profit off of. Isn't that right? Or to make himself look religious. Isn't that right? So whether you go to church on Christmas or on Thanksgiving or on Easter, whether you go on the old days or not, has nothing to do with your religiosity. Yeah, did you understand? Religiosity, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, it, it has nothing to do with your relationship with God because you're supposed to be worshiping him and praising him every day. Isn't that right? It's not, he didn't set us, a, set, set us apart a certain day that we had to worship on. He didn't tell us to worship him on his birthday. Isn't that right? You understand? That's man's idea. Isn't that right? You ain't got to like what I'm saying, but it's all right. Search your Bible and you won't find but two great birthdays in there. And they were both wicked kings. One was Pharaoh and one was Herod. Isn't that right? And they both was wicked. And uh, they were the only birthday parties that you would see in the night. Isn't that right? So he didn't tell us to worship his birthday. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll move on. Yeah, yeah, man, I, yeah, the faster I say it, the faster I get through with it. Yeah, man, because I'm going to say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so don't let people judge you, neither judge you on what you eat or, or what you don't eat. You understand? You can't eat pork. If it's more than your blood pressure and stuff, don't eat it. Don't eat salt either if it's buying your blood pressure. But if it ain't hurting your body, bring the pork chops on. Yeah. Barbecue ribs, bring them on. Pig knuckles and beans and stuff. Bring them on, you understand? Pray over it. Bless it and eat it with thanksgiving. But I would suggest that you don't eat over eat but you eat it in moderation did you hear what i said but it has nothing to do with your relationship with god don't don't let nobody tell you that you can't eat that you understand and you can't you got to eat this or you not eat this you so was this chicken was this fish or whatever it is you understand a black eyed peas if that's what you got eat it pray over it and eat it did you hear what i said and give god thanks but what he has given you for the nourishment of your body. 
in order that you might prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Now, that's a blessing that you can tell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make sure that you let the Lord know that you are thankful. Isn't that right? Yeah, we are to worship him with our time, with our talent, and with our finances. And we are to what? Praise him with our mouth. We are to give him lip service. Isn't that right? There is no one, like I said, that is more deserving of praise and worship than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I thank him for cleaning the meat. Boy, he can tell us to rise and eat just like he told Peter. When Peter called something unclean, he said, call nothing that I have planned unclean. You understand? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Everything God made is good and very good. Don't let people judge you about what you eat or what you don't eat or what day you go to church or what time you go to church. We can go to church at any time of the day you choose to. You can, you can have service in the morning and midday or at night. And, isn't that right? It has nothing to do with how close to God you are. Right. Isn't that right? We are set free from all these customs and traditions. Yeah, all these observances, you understand, new moons, and you know that got to be up at midnight, you understand, to see the new year come in. Yeah. And, and all that. Isn't that right? You go to sleep and get your rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't hear what I'm saying. You understand? That has nothing to do with your religiosity. I'll say, I'll say it again. Isn't that right? Yeah, that, that, that watch meeting was because, you know, understand the slave was seeing whether they're going to get free. They were voting that night. They want to see what, which way the boat went, whether they were set free or not. That's what the watch was when they were watching to see which way the boat was going to go. Yeah, that, and now you know which way it went. You ain't got to sit up and watch it now. Yeah, it ain't got nothing to do with church service. It ain't got nothing to do with worshiping God. Yeah, you were thankful to see another year, but he didn't tell you had to stay up and see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming whether you're here to see it or not. Our new life in Christ has set us free. I said all of that to tell you that we as Christians, we are free from that bondage. Jesus set us free. Isn't that right? Yeah, to worship him, you understand? We're going to have to give an account for how we worship him ourselves. Yeah, yeah, and not the way somebody else tells us to worship him, you understand? All children do not treat uh, the parent the same way. They do not respond the same way. Some, some children you don't have to chastise. You, you can just tell them what to do and they'll do it. And some, you can beat them over the head and they still won't do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just a different in the children. You say, well, I, I don't raise two or three children. I know I'm an expert. I know how to raise children. Now. No, if you have some more, they're going to be different. Yeah. They, they're going to they're gonna be different. Yeah, and think how it is to try to pastor a group of people. They all are different. So all of you are not going to be satisfied. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Yeah, our life in Christ, you understand, has set us free. From customs, traditions, and superstitions. Yeah. Our righteousness is not in the days that we observe, well. or neither the ordinances that we observe, but our righteousness is in Jesus Christ. Yeah. If your righteousness is not in Him, you don't have any. Right. Uh -huh. For our righteousness is as filthy rags in His sight. Isn't that right? Yeah. That's what my Bible says. Amen. So if you want to be righteous, you got to have. Take on Jesus Christ. You got to be in him and he has to what? Be in you? Yeah. yeah. He requires of us not to forget what he has done. Yeah. Don't forget the one that has set you free. Uh -huh. The one that has loosed your shackles and loosed your bonds and have set you free yeah. and gave you freedom to worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah. Isn't that right? Is that what he told the woman at the well? Yeah, the day has come, and now is that they that worship him would worship him in spirit and in truth, not in a certain place or not in a certain way. But God is spirit, and they that worship him got to worship him in the spirit. Isn't that right? Yeah, give him the glory, give him the praise, and he will honor your worshiping. He will honor your praise. Yeah, yeah, Jesus requires of us not to forget 
forget him, but give him thanks. All through scripture, you will find that we are required to remember what God has done. Do not become an ingrate and take things for granted. God does not have to do anything for us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He was not put here for us, but we were put here for him. We are his servant. He's our Lord. He's our master. Yeah, and whatever he does for us is for our good. And whether we understand it or not, we need to give him the praise. We need to be thankful in all things. We need to give him the glory in all things. I don't understand it, but I know it's for my good. For all things work together towards those that are according to his purpose. Those that work according to his will. Those that obey him and try to follow his command. Whatever you do is going to work out for your good. Because he's going to help it to work out. Because that's what he would have you to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget that it is Jesus that has set us free. From the grip of Satan. Satan had us all in bondage. For we all were born in sin. We all were shaped in iniquity. Yeah. But God sent his only begotten son. And his son has set us free. He died to pay our sin debt. In order to loose us from the penalty of our sins. He shed his blood to eradicate our record. So there is now no record in heaven of our sins. For Jesus died for all of our sins, past, present, and future. Isn't that right? So he did not have to die but once. So no matter what goes on or who's born after us, their sins have been forgiven. All they have to do is believe it and receive it. Tell the Lord, thank you. Yeah, it's not by our good works. It's not by our good deeds that we are saved. It's not by the ceremonies that we keep. It's not by the good deeds that we do, you understand? But it's what Jesus did. And when you believe on him and confess that he is Lord and Savior, that he died for your sins, yeah, that he is your Lord and your Savior, you are saved. Yeah, and you are born of his spirit. His spirit is the spirit of love. And by this love shall all men know that he are his disciples. And that you love him with all of your heart, soul, mind, body, and strength. And you love your neighbor as yourself. It's not by how high you jump and not how loud you sing. But it's by the love that you show one towards another. That we know that you are a child of God. Because God is love. And if you're born of his spirit, then you've got to be a child of God. You are a child of love. How can you be so hateful and yet say you are a child of God? When you are born of his spirit and you say that you are Holy Ghost filled, then that love that is in you should emanate to the outside where you can at least smile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even if you won't do any good work, you can at least say good morning. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, remember Jesus in all things. Yeah, because he's involved in all things. Had it not been for Jesus, you would not be here this morning. Had it not been for Jesus, you would not have awakened this morning. For truly he watched over us all night long last night. Kept thieves and robbers away from our door. Isn't it right? And right early this morning he touched us with a finger of his divine love. And a witness to a new day that we've never seen before. But a day that has been coming ever since the day of creation. And at least when we got up this morning we should have told him thank you. We, we should at least tell the Lord. Thank you. Isn't that right? Yeah, I'm so glad that he died for me. Uh, and I'm glad that he got up to let me know that I too shall rise. For in him that I shall live and move and have my being. But without him, I can do nothing. But without him, I can do nothing. But through him, I can do all things. Yeah, right now is a good time to just tell the Lord thank you. Thank you for being so good to me. If I were you, I would not try and wait to a future day in order to tell him thank you. But as soon as you find out that the Lord has been good, you ought to tell him thank you. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you need to take time out to tell the Lord thank you. When you realize that he brought you every step of the way, 
You ought to take time to tell him thank you. Ain't God all right? I thank him for giving me breath to breathe. Yeah, eyes to see, ears to hear. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? Do you remember those ten men that were lepers? They were standing in the road. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, passing through Samaria on his way through Galilee to Jerusalem. And they cried out with a loud voice, saying, Master, have mercy on us. And he told those men that were leprous with this incurable disease, told them to go and show yourself to the priests. And as those ten men turned to walk away, the Bible says they saw that they were healed. And only one of those men turned around and praised the Lord with a loud voice. And then he fell down to the ground and told Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for healing my body. Ain't God all right? And I heard Jesus, when he asked him, say, were there not ten? Then where are the nine? Well, the others, didn't, didn't I heal more than just one? And the one that has turned around to tell me, thank you, he's a Samaritan. In other words, he's not a Hebrew. Yeah, he's not one of the normal crowd. He's not a member of the local church. But at least he recognized that I healed him. And that I was worthy of thanks. And Jesus told him, your faith has made you whole. Now the other nine, they, 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 their bodies, yeah, were healed. But they wouldn't, they wouldn't made whole. Do you hear what I'm saying? Sooner or later, that's going to go back to being sick just like it was. Are you ready? But this man, because he gave God thanks for what he had done, he said, hey, I'm going to make you whole. Spirit, soul, and body. I don't know why the other men didn't come back. Maybe they was waiting to Sunday morning to tell the Lord thank you. But I stopped by to tell you, you don't have to wait to Thursday to tell the Lord thank you. You don't have to wait till next Sunday to tell the Lord thank you. You don't have to wait till the turkey throw out in order to tell the Lord thank you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you can tell him thank you. Yeah, right now. Isn't that right? Remember why you came here today. When you came through the gate out there, you should have come through with a song on your lips. You should have come through with a praise in your heart. Said, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to make it back one more time. Thank you, Lord, for letting me walk upon these church grounds one more time because you are good. Your mercy is everlasting. Ain't God good? Thank you, Lord, for being good to me. Thank you, Lord. Ain't he good? You don't have to wait on the devotional leader to tell the Lord thank you. You don't have to wait on the choir to march in and take the stand to hum a hymn and say the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. Lord, I thank you. Do you thank the Lord? Ain't he good? Ain't he good? don't have to wait on the preacher yeah to take the stand to move your emotions you ought to be having a little emotion on the inside when you think about how good God has been to you how he brought you from a mighty long way through many dangers toys and snails the Lord me. Did he bring you? Every time I think of his goodness, I have to tell him thank you for being good to me. Ain't he all right? 
All these years, all of these years, both day and night, he kept me. You ought to tell him thank you. God is good. Every day of my life, he fed me. He gave me food to eat. You ought to tell him thank you for the food you gave me to eat. You gave me a brand new day. You gave me clothes to wear. A house to live in while he on earth. And then you're building me another house. A house up in glory. Not made by hand. Thank you, Lord, for being so good. Thank you for saving me when I was lost in a world of sin. Walking in darkness, you saved me. Did he save you? Lord, I tell him thank you for saving a sinner like me. I was a lost sheep, couldn't find my way. But Jesus found me, did he find you? That's why I can say, he is my shepherd, and I shall not want whatever I need. The Lord will, do you know he will provide? Won't he do it? He's my way, out of no way. My water, when I get thirsty, yeah. And in a starving land, do you know him? You ought to tell somebody, I know Jesus for myself. He died for my sin. He shed his blood. Didn't he do it? But early, one Sunday morning, he rose up from the grave with all power. In heaven and earth, in his name, in his all right, there was no other name under the heavens given among men whereby we must be saved other than the name Jesus. Jesus, I thank you for coming to see about me. Jesus, I thank you for saving a sinner like me. Jesus, I thank you for stopping by the hospital. Jesus, I thank you for healing my body. Jesus, I thank you for your love that's never ending and nothing shall ever be able to separate me from the love of God. His love will never run out. Do you have his love? Do you have his love? Do you love him? I love him because he first loved me. Do you know he loves you? And he's all right. God for me. Shed his blood. Gave his body. And if you don't eat and don't drink, you don't have no part in him. But if you love me, then drink my blood. If you love me, then eat my body. Do this in remembrance of me. Whenever you come together in my name, I'll be in your midst. If you just call on me, won't he show up? Have you ever call on him in the midnight hour? He's a friend at midnight. Do you know him? I tried him for myself. He's all right. He's all right. I tell you, he's all right. And while the door of opportunity is open, you ought to come on in and tell the Lord, forgive me of my sins. Wash my sins away. I turn from my wicked ways. I give my heart to you. I give my life to you. Take me and use me in your service. Anywhere, any place, you use me. It's all right with me. Do you know him? Jesus, take all of me. I'm yours, Lord. Try me and see if I'm not completely yours. Have you tried him? The door is open. 
You ought to come on in. Try to bless you in your love. In your way. Come in now. And tell the Lord thank you for keeping me when I was careless, when I was unconcerned. You kept me. When I was down and out, you kept me. When I thought I didn't need you, you kept me. When I was walking alone, you kept me. And you're keeping me now. Lord, bless me indeed. Yeah. Since we come. On that same night in which Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and blessed it and broke it said, this is my body of the New Testament, which is broken for many. Take it and eat it. He took the cup, blessed it, said, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shared for many. As often as you drink it, do so in remembrance of me, most holy and everlasting Father. We ask, O oh God, your forgiveness for all of our sins, all of our trespasses, for all of our evil imaginations. We ask, O oh God, that you would create in us clean hearts, renew within us a right spirit, Father, we repent and we turn to you from all of our wicked ways. Ask that you would blot them out just now. Father, look on us with an eye of mercy, with an eye of compassion. Father, we did what we did out of ignorance. Forgive us. Let us eat this bread and drink this fruit of the vine as a token of your word that we have eaten, convicting us and convincing us that we need to tell you thank you, that we need to appreciate what you have done for us, so much so that we give you our lives. Take us and use us in your service. You know where we fit. You know what we are suited for. Use us in your services of a prayer. Let what we do today be pleasing in your sight. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.
one day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. Never said a mumbling word. Never said a mum. Oh no. Never said a mumbling word. No. Never said a mumbling word. For me, one day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. It was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood. Was my Savior's blood for me? One day when I was lost, He died upon the cross. Oh, yeah. And Jesus took bread. And blessed it and break it. Said, eat ye all of it is. Let us eat in the remembrance of him. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And he took the cup. And when he had blessed it, he said, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for the remission of your sins. As often as you drink it, do so in remembrance of me. Let us drink all of it. Remember Jesus and tell him thank you. Please stand. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. May the grace, the love, the power, the covering, the protection, the healing touch of God and His favor rest, rule, and abide with each household in the blessed, wonderful name of Christ Jesus. And we love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we say amen. Amen. amen.